And of course I can't just do a video on one fish tank. What up fish tank TV? This is Michael again. And here's my 37 gallon fish tank. I uh, I did a few changes, did some trimming, added driftwood, moved the cranium back to the back right corner, and I took uh, the down oil out and put in a chain sword. Well, I didn't get rid of the down oil. Just moved that one over into my 10 gallon tank. Please grow. I dared to this tank, so please grow. <laughs> I'm back over here. Ah, oh, focus. I've been doing a little bit of work on this tank lately. I, I screwed up the lighting and it's much better. It picks up a lot better on camera now too. Um, I screwed with the water flow so it hits the leaves on uh, my Nubius so dirt doesn't collect on it. Because all these things in this corner used to get tons of dirt on them. Not anymore. And over here, what did I do over here? Oh, I moved, uh, yeah, I moved the crane. I already said that. Um, oh, yeah, with the adjustment of the water flow, at least now the crenum's kind of coming across the surface. I like that. And I've got some, uh, Elodia going from, uh, goes back down next to the, the filter intake. It's coming up around here, back around the filter, and up over here. That's pretty cool. Um, you know, the fish are getting fatter. Looking priggers. No new fish or anything. Nothing's died. Um, the harlequin, who, I don't know why it's missing a tail, but it is. It's been alive with like a stub tail for over a month now just hanging out by himself but still like hanging on I don't know if something's still trying to eat its tail or not I have never seen a fish mess with it so I honestly can't say what's going on um oh wait I did put new fish in here yeah that's right my friend Joe came over with a bag full of fish from his fish tank, he gave a, uh, he let me get first pick and I took a breeding pair of, I think they're, um, I can't see them right now. They're platies though. He just was breeding a bunch of them. Oh, that's one of them. It looks like a wag almost. I think it's a cross because it's, it's got weird coloring on it. It's not like, uh, the wags I have in this tank that are just, uh, pretty. Like, this is the most pretty wag. <laughs> yeah, so I put two uh, platies in here that my, my friend Joey was, you know, not breeding on purpose, but they were breeding themselves, and gave the rest of the bag of fish to my neighbor, because he's setting up another, another 60 gallon. It's going to be pretty cool. Actually, it's going to be really cool. He's got Ah, uh, um, one, two, he's got three nice tanks set up in his house right now. We set up a, a tank in his backyard to grow things out in. It's just a bunch, it's just dirt, um, a power head and, uh, no filtration really. It's really fucking cool, like, you know. <laughs> We're getting there. We're growing some stuff. We'll probably even sell some of it on Craigslist and eBay at some point. It's gonna be awesome. But, uh, yeah, I think this tank is finally actually coming together. It looks like my little slice of nature like I wanted it to. Just, uh, not as grimy of a slice of nature as this tank is. But, yeah, there we go. Thanks for uh, checking it out, guys. This is, I'm pretty proud of this. Peace.